Yeah, what is going on, guys? My name is Coach Jay, YouTube channel, Donks the Ball, Ball, Ball for Theme Park News, and welcome to a Theme Park News update from Flamingo Land Resort. And finally, we have planning images. Yes, we got the video yesterday when I was talking about the first details from Raudal District Council's original application. Um, of course, you, uh, you know, Pete, when you're planning a new roller coaster with the council, you know, it's going to take a couple of months to validate and get them accepted, given the green light. So I don't think it's going to be, I think the, I think the validation date is 25th of July, uh, which was said on different forums and multiple news sources, etc. So uh, it looks like end of July is when we're going to get the confirmation of this coaster, which looks like it's going to be a confirmation of the coaster. Whether they can get it confirmed sooner or not, I think that's just like the validation date, like the deadline for validation, but it could get confirmed a lot, lot sooner. But we do have two new planning images that, were, that have been officially released today uh, for the new coaster, as well as some brand new details, some more new details on the coaster, including track and support colours. Yes, we're there, as well as a predicted opening year. So I'm going to put the planning images on screen now. Fan David Arzi. And these are the more new details that have been released uh, from the planning applications, from the planning documents. So we've got some more new details, like we said. So according to these details, we're expected to see a 2020 opening. So that confirms it, 2020. The footprint is 200 metres by 400 metres. So again... A, quite a large footprint, but it should take up that plot of land nicely. The waiver is up to 25 metres high, but this is, of course, 34 metres high. Um, so, again, could be a difference. Uh, and this is the big one, the track and support colours, which could give us some clues as to the name and the theme. It will be silver track and black supports. So, what if you're thinking along the lines of animal theme, then maybe something like a panther or a jaguar, the black jaguar, um, that kind of thing. But I think the silver and black, the silver track and the black supports are linking more towards that pirate theme. Uh, so I do think that that is the case uh, with what we're going here. I think this is going to be a pirate theme and I can't wait to see what Flamingo Land's going to do with this. As you saw on your screen, the planning images look amazing, don't they? They look absolutely incredible. I think this is going to be a massive, massive project for the UK. Of course, you've got Tonino Springs down in Poulton's Park. I'm sure Thought Park's got something in store for the Angry Birds 4D building after the news updates we've been covering a few weeks back on that. Alton Towers, of course, celebrating 40 years of operation. I'm sure Chessington's got something up their sleeve. And now Flamingoland's got something. They've got this 10 inverting coaster. But I think, unless Thorpe Park and Alton Towers pull a nice attraction out of the bag, same with Chessington and Blackpool Pleasure Beach and um, people like that, I do think that the two main focus parks this year are Poulton's Park and Flamingoland. Flamingoland for their 10 inversion coaster and Poulton's Park for Tornado Springs. I think they're the two big... 2020 developments here in the UK um, Obviously there's big updates around the rest of the world, but you know for us in the UK We're focusing on the 10 inversion coaster from England and Tornado Springs of Poulton's Park uh, I'm gonna put those panning images on your screen again right now. There we go Fan David Oz. So that's the first planning image. So as you can see from that planning image that one's a very uh, Long image not the actual you can see the little coast cello in the background there um, but if you sort of want to cast your eyes to this long planning image, this very thin planning image, you can see like a side view of the layout. So you can see it going up the lift hill. It's quite a long station. Uh, so it's going up the lift hill. It's got like a nice, it's not like a, I don't think it's like, it's like the Colossus type drop where it does like a little dip while it turns around and then turns around to the drop. I think this one's just a nice curved drop. Uh, and it goes into that first loop and of course the rest of the layout and of course it does the nice airtime hills with the cobra roll and of course the court screws and of course you can see uh, just behind that lift hill structure the back to back barrel rolls um, so that's a nice touch there to the attraction of course this is looking to be a, this is well, from what we knew from previous details from the previous video it's the same track length as Altair, Lightspeed there's another two name that I can't pronounce for for anything um, so if you look at the second planning image on your screen now Fandabidozi, this is a look down overview of the area so you can see in red easily the layout and of course the blue box overseeing part of the red track 
uh, on the plans is the station for the ride. Uh, now it's quite a thin station and the queue line's got quite a thin uh, path as you can see there. I think the blue line underneath the Cobra roll means tr uh, possible queue line. So it looks like you could be going underneath the Cobra roll which is pretty cool if you can. Um, you can see it's quite a decent, like I said before, it's a decent layout and I think it's going to be a very, very awesome ride. So there we go then, so let's talk theming items because now we know the opening day, we know the layout, we know the plans, we know the track colour, the support colour. The only thing we don't know now is the, like the only main thing we don't know is the name and the theme they're going for. And like I said in previous videos, animal theme or pirate theme is my two main predictions for this roller coaster. And I do think that from the track colours, like I said earlier in the video with the silver track and the black supports, I do think that a pirate theme is absolutely destined for this brand new roller coaster next year. Um, I think we're going to hopefully, fingers crossed, go for some kind of backstory. There's no mention on the plans of any theming items or any sort of objects, themed objects around the ride. Whether they're going to sort of add that in at the last minute as part of like an extra planning document, I don't know. Uh, but from the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's any theming items, so it looks like it could just be uh, the name is the theme, basically. Basically, the theme relates to the name and there's no like theming items to sort of support the name of the coaster. Uh, I'm not going to break any predictions on any names because I really don't know at this point. I do think, though, that I think it's going to be more along the pirate theme, in my opinion, especially with the... Pirates of Zanzibar show right near to where this coast is going. I do feel as if we're going to see this pirate theme come into play. I mean, with the the silver track and the black supports, it seems a bit like a opposite to Hero in a way. I, I dread to say it, but you know, Hero's got that sort of grey track and supports. I mean, we're looking at a similar type of silver to Hero, uh, and of course, the black supports on this coaster instead of grey as well. So, like I said, it's going to be interesting to follow. It's going to be interesting to see what Flamingoland announces from this project because now the plans are on Raldale District Council and now the plans have been unveiled. It's, it won't be too long before Flamingoland announces this big new attraction coming in 2020. Maybe, we'll, maybe when Flamingoland first announces it, maybe we'll start to see like a themed teaser so we can get more of an idea of the theme. Maybe some ideas of what could be involved in the backstory or the name of the ride. There's still some questions, main questions like the name and the theme, etc. Still yet to be answered. And also what from England are going to do uh, themselves. Is it a pirate theme? Is it an animal theme? Is it something else that we don't know? Um, make sure you send your comments down below of what you think the name and theme is going to be. But thank you very much for watching this very important breaking news update. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, my name is Coach Chay, YouTube channel Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coast life and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care, have an awesome day with friends.